welcome back everybody roar what is that sound <gasps> it's a dinosaur roar what is that sound <gasps> another dinosaur and another one and another one <gasps> there's so many dinosaurs so today we're going to learn all about dinosaurs i hope you're excited just like me before we can actually learn all about them i thought we could sing and dance to we are the dinosaurs how does that sound good Perfect, so let's start. Oh, I am a dinosaur, a dinosaur, a dinosaur. Oh, I am a dinosaur, and this is what we do. The Stegosaurus has big spikes, has big spikes, has big spikes. Stegosaurus has big spikes on its back and tail. The pterodactyl likes to fly, likes to fly, likes to fly. The pterodactyl likes to fly, swooping through the trees. Oh, we are the dinosaurs, the dinosaurs, the dinosaurs. The dinosaurs. Oh, we are the dinosaurs, and we like to roar. The diplodocus likes to eat, <laughs> likes to eat, likes to eat. The diplodocus likes to eat all the green leaves. The Velociraptor has big claws, has big claws, has big claws. The Velociraptor has big claws, he snaps them all day long. Oh, we are the dinosaurs, the dinosaurs, the dinosaurs. Oh, we are the dinosaurs, and we like to roar. The T-Rex likes to chomp his teeth, chomp his teeth, chomp his teeth. The T-Rex likes to chomp his teeth all day long. Triceratops, they have big horns, have big horns, have big horns. Triceratops, they have big horns. How many can you see? Two! Oh, we are the dinosaurs, the dinosaurs, the dinosaurs. Oh, we are the dinosaurs, and we like to roar! That was a great song. Did you like it? That's great. So now that we could learn all about the dinosaurs from that song. How does that sound? Let's do it together. Come with me. Dinosaurs. So the first dinosaur is called Diplodocus. Diplodocus has a, a long neck, just like a giraffe. It's a little bit taller, so that it's able to reach to the leaves on the top of the tree. It also has a really long tail and a small head. Triceratops. Triceratops has three horns. Let's count them. One, two, three. And on its head, it has, it has something that looks like a crown. And that's called a bony frill. It also has a short tail and a beak like a bird. And it has no teeth. This dinosaur has no teeth at all. The next dinosaur is called Perodactyle. Perodactyle has wings. It also has a long beak and it has really sharp teeth and short legs. The next dinosaur is called Stegosaurus. Stegosaurus has spikes on its back and on its tail. It also has a small head and the legs on the back are taller than the legs in the front. The T-Rex. The T-Rex is the king of the dinosaurs and he has a huge head. He also has very sharp teeth and the legs on the back are bigger compared to the arms. They have very tiny arms. Velociraptor. Velociraptor has, he's very, very fast, and he's much smaller compared to the T-Rex. And he has very long, sharp claws, and he has very tall legs at the back. And that's really good because they're really, really fast. And they have a long tail. That was fun, learning all about the dinosaurs. Now I thought we could actually read a book. Let's get started. The Dinosaur Who Lost His Roar 
by Russell Panter and Andy Elkerton. Deep inside the forest lived a dinosaur named Sid. Roar! He always got into trouble for the noisy things he did. Oh no, look at all those dinosaurs. They are all so scared. Spike was picking berries. Do you see Spike? Can you point at Spike? And Sid crept up, crept up like a cat. Oh no, what is Sid thinking of doing? I think he's gonna get into trouble. He let out a mighty roar. That Spike got covered. Splash! That wasn't funny, Sid, growled Spike. The juice went into my eyes. Enjoy your breakfast, Sid replied. Who else can I surprise? Oh no, that wasn't funny. Look at Sid. Look at Spike. He looks so mad. Ross was standing by the pool to see what he could catch. Oh, he wants to catch a fish. But no, oh no, look at Sid on the back. Oh no, what is he thinking of doing? Mm -mm. He's, oh no, when Sid let out a mighty roar. Oh, poor Ross, he went tumbling into the water. Splash! That wasn't nice of Sid. Mm -mm. I hope you like your swim, Ross. You'll dry in the end. Oh, look at Ross. He looks very mad. That wasn't funny, Ross replied. I thought you were my friend. Oh, no. He's also covered in algae. That wasn't nice of Sid. Mm -mm. Sid saw Ellie hunting eggs. He snaked behind her back. Oh, no, that's not a good idea. Eggs are fragile. Oh no, I hope he doesn't try to scare her. That wouldn't be a good idea. Oh no, he let out such a mighty roar. The eggs went flying, crack, and egg and surprise. Love said, you can't, you just can't beat my roar. Oh, that wasn't nice. Look at all the eggs. Now they have gone all to waste. But when Sid went to bed that night, his throat felt rough and sore. The next day, Sid saw Spike again, oh no, and went to play his joke. I hope he doesn't try to scare him. He was very mad yesterday. But when he tried to give a roar, what came out was a croak. Ha ha, Sid, you lost your roar. You can't scare me anymore. Oh no, what happened to Sid's roar? Why does it sound like a crook now? Ross was balanced, balanced on a rock. Sid went to scare him off, but when he tried to give a roar, what came out was a <coughs> cough. Ha ha, Sid, you lost your roar. You can't scare me anymore. Sid tipped up, up to Elliot, but struggled uh, though he might. No roar will come out, just a rasp. His throat felt all so tight. Ha ha, Sid, you lost your roar. You can't scare me anymore. Sid spent a whole week getting well with honey and sweet tea. Oh, I wish I hadn't played those tricks. Now the joke's on me. Mm -mm. He learned his lesson. Not to go scaring all his friends. That wasn't very nice. Soon Sid felt fit to see his friends. I'll show them I am not mean. 
but when he reached the berry bush, Spike could not be seen. Where is Spike? Rose was missing from his pool. Wait, what is going on? Where is Spike and Ross? Sid says that things weren't right. <gasps> he spotted a scary footprint and they gave him quite a fright. Oh, that footprint looks quite big. Oh no, I wonder what happened to his friends. Sid was getting worried. <gasps> what could he come to next? Then he then came a, a chalk beyond a rock. I wonder what he what he saw. <gasps> oh no, I hope his friends are okay. A Tyrannosaurus Rex? <gasps> Sid hoped he he had his voice back. But how could he be sure? He took the most enormous breath and gave a mighty roar. That scared the T-Rex. Roar! That's good. He's, he let go of his friends. His friends are free. The T-Rex headed for the hills. Oh, he's running away. And Sid's paws were safe once more. Three cheers for the Sid, for Sid the hero. Hooray! 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 You are the greatest dinosaur. Can you cheer for, for Sid? Can you say hooray? That was an amazing story and we learned that it's not good to go and scare in people with your big roar but it's okay to save them with your big roar. <laughs> now that we can actually do a fun activity. So we're gonna count how many dinosaurs are on the screen. So you need one piece of paper and colored pencils, okay? Or you can print the worksheet on the description down below and you can trace the numbers with me, okay? As we count the dinosaurs. Let's get started. Count dinosaurs with me. So click on the link and you can print it and you trace the numbers with me. Or you can actually have a blank piece of paper and you can just write the numbers down. So how many dinosaurs do we have here? One. So make sure that when you're tracing, you go all the way from the top to all the way to the bottom. Good. How many dancers do we have here? One and two. Okay, and then we're tracing two. Make sure that you go all from here and then you go around. And then before you go fully around, just go down and then across. Very good. Next one, we have one, two, three dinosaurs. Good. So we're going to trace, trace number three. There you go. And you go all the way around. There you go. Now, how many dinosaurs do we have? Let's count them together. One, two, three, and four. You're right. We have four. So. To make four, we have to go from the top to the bottom and then across and then we're going to go again to the top and all the way to the bottom, all the way down, down, down. Very good. Now how many dancers do you see here? Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five. You were right, we have five. So we're gonna start from here, and then we're gonna go across, go down, and then go around, and then we stop. Very good. And the next one. How many dancers do you see here? Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
we have six. And again, when you're tracing six, just make sure you go from here, and then you go up, and then you go down, 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 and then go all the way around. Good. Now, how many dancers do we see here? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Yep, we have seven. So to make seven, just make sure you start here and then you go across and then you go all the way down. Good job. Now, how many dancers do we see here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight dinosaurs. So make sure you start from here in the middle and then you're gonna go up and around. And then now you're gonna go down and around. Good. Okay, so now we're gonna count the dinosaurs. How many dinosaurs do we have? Okay, now let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine dinosaurs. So to make a nine, we have to make a circle first. So go around and around and around. And then now we have to make a stick. So go all the way to the top and then all the way to the bottom. Nine. Okay. How many dinosaurs do we have here? I heard ten. Let's, let's count together and see if that's true. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. You are right, ten. So we have to make a one, so all the way to the top and all the way to the top, bottom. And to make this zero, it's a big circle. So all the way to top, you can start at any point and then you can go all the way down, 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 and all the way to the top and around. Done. And that is the end for this activity. Now we're going to do the dinosaur dance. So we're going to pretend to be a T-Rex. So we're going to pretend to have a tail. So we have to wiggle our tail. And we have to make sure we roar like a dinosaur. And we snap our jaws. And we stomp like a dinosaur. Are you ready? Okay, let's start. Let's go hunt like a T-Rex and learn the dinosaur dance. Are you ready? Shake your tail and snap your jaw. Swish, swish, snap, snap, snap. Stomp your feet and roar. Stomp, stomp, roar. Shake your tail and snap your jaw. Swish, swish, snap, snap, snap. Stomp your feet and roar. Stomp, stomp, roar. That's the dinosaur dance. Did you have fun? So now we're going to do our last song for today and it's called Zoom Zoom Zoom. Are you ready to sing with me? 
good. So the song goes, zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, come aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. On five, four, three, two, one, blast off! That was fun! Did you have fun? I had lots of fun, but we're all done for today. Mm. So, but that's okay because on Thursday, we have another circle time for you and it's gonna be live. I hope to see you there. It's gonna be on jungle animals and on the, on the alphabet. So that's gonna be lots of fun. I hope to see you there. Bye-bye.